enormous sunflower. I was wandering the streets, very downtrodden, looking for hats. These days spilled onto the sidewalk, as it did into my headphones all that autumn he suicided. The waves of Nico's hoarse pulp voice, as smooth as the dark lake he choked on. These days, she sang, as all Thanksgiving he drowned in the gravy of a despair no one could begrudge or temper, as in the song I went out walking. Anniversary of the Nacho. I stopped at a bar. Unsuccessfully. Watch out for Charlie's girl, chided the stereo. Ligature, your etc. These days, I have been adjusting the space between us. I have been regretting the complications. I go on the internet, read about Mets, read about Mets, read the box scores in the cancer journals, stare at photos of first teeth, funeral selfies, lives miscarried. No wonder there's a shorthand for I love you, the blood red lumpen hearts. We need a glossary of gifts to cover all this pain without losing too much plasma. A girl on Broadway under Prince went, really cute pregnant belly. A girl at Broadway and Bleecker went, so are like, are we so dumb or so? The shriveling egg sack of her bucket list silky smile. Warm air sang from the grates into my teeth. I'd fight anyone. It's common knowledge. I'm available. Don't forget me. Air. Trouble man. Amid the playlists, I find a place I like and then I leave. I get on a bus. I get on a bus. I don't know what I'm doing. Burn. I tell a waitress named Virginia, no one has ever had such a beautiful man. I tell her all my friends will name their kids Virginia, I swear. I refuse to speak to the children of my friends. I go out walking. The city's ooze produces this aging teen hope singing Maroon 5 on the C train. He hits the high note of future imperative love, emphasis on the will. Subjunctive love is just a dream from another time, imperfect, in which I was. Last night I had to wash with some Irish thing and that shit had me itching like a motherfucker. Goes some lady at St. Nicholas and 139th Street, all itching into the phone, so you know it's true. Everything happens on the C train. I stay in other people's houses while they watch TV. Woman screams to an endless hit parade of golden oldies, Carmina Burana, laughter, net flecked. I cut out for somewhere else on a bus, and all there is is bus people watching TV. The women won't stop screaming. Still, I love the sight of daylight out a greyhound window, the sunshine scared shitless, spires of buffalo. Dawn strikes in motion, potholing south, Port Byron Plaza, on all caps of a place, a whisper, no nothing purgatory. A flock of sky over misty green field, and the blackbirds splitting in silhouette into a trajectory of mourning. Me on bus to LaGuardia, emanating light. Me on bus to Rochester. Hello, world. Me on bus. Oh, Jesus, when will it end? You tell me. Every once in a while, I have this half notion 
no one knows I'm me. So what am I worried about? Like I'm hauling around this body like a costume. The Harlem sun spinning hip hop hits of the 90s. I in my winding sheet of summer lost. Despair's free reign, short leash. Limbed in sweat as round you the light leaks in. On the impromptu sidewalk stoop say, I want to know how many days I have left. I do. I don't. And the nightly crickets here sound like police cars through wet polyester and the wail of one thing leads to another. The plaster cracks. Your sweet body is a costume. A bird is trying to fuck my shoe. You wrote me once with photo attached and my sympathies lay with the bird. And this man at bar says, Dubrovnik was a ghost town with the breathtaking finality of a sunset. But I'm a congenital overreactor, and my breath is always coming back again, like a speed bag or blush of black flies, sucker for human warmth. You are hailing this body every day, like a taxi. And every day, it passes. I leave you and end up in the mouth of the night, you know where the night takes people like me. A hundred free everything, and seven hours later, the guys at the bar are like, what's the difference between jackals and hyenas? It's like a cradle the world holds you in, I think. To myself, the you. These incidental men, their dawn split conjecturing. Their jackal laughter, my unabating aniseed amertume. The origin story has become loss, the tough, spent seed of it. And on the E train southbound, my thoughts ferment into a lacuna, thoughts of, and I think, full stop, I think, a shiner of it, mash my head in. And the dry voiced wind wheezing, tide is high, the tide is high, like the men at the bar still singing. One evening, Garrett stood me enough Campari to float a toy freighter and showed me where the Art Deco proletarian brick Western Union behaves in sunset like a maquette of itself and you, by which I mean you, should have seen the pearly cumio nimbus over glittering Hudson Yards in the distance. I'm saying really a dazzled and bedaubed. And by the way, I asked, why is Chinatown warmer than anywhere else in this town? and found out that sometimes the dragons of East Broadway breathe an iron-fisted fury that disperses the island's western weather system, so you know. Remember, this place is an island. Sometimes its weather is human flesh on fire. Feel its fog and feel the tide of your own miscellaneous ineptitudes wash cheekbone high like the futile fruitless blush unrequited. But then these fireflies in Tribeca Park, just this little triangle of green and glow high lit by Garrett's fingertip, and I could hear someone singing, funky, funky Broadway. And I thought, maybe I hate this Hollywood shit, but... And I thought, if it's not one thing, it's another damn thing. Salt amplifying my face and dumb. I walked through the fireflies seared and breathless, as though I too were a flame, as though I had never heard of anything so miraculous. That minute, I hadn't. The air knit with comets failing. Next minute, on the sidewalk, passing. That shit was the first time I drank beer, man. She had, like, severe depression. You get seizures when it's too hot out. Lies, lies, lies. Everybody lies in this heat. I'm walking behind a guy going, that's why you're not supposed to wear flip-flops with your kind of feet at his suitcase lugging girl. The sun on Adam Clayton Powell's bronze face. The low-rise yellowed breath of it. The deli. 
suspiciousness and sports talk and cold cuts and salt and pepper. Inexplicably, a fisherman galoshing past on Malcolm X, shouldered rod and tackle box, ducking back into the end of summer rain, like barreling home from work 4 a.m. through skunks and blossoms, the wrenching scent of it. Thinking of you and of the rain after Finn's wedding, that girl at Dundas West Station slumped on the bus lane curb, noise of the deluge and her contrapuntal complaint. They called me the next day and said he was charged. And I'm all, nothing to brag. And kids are jumping turnstiles and I figure, bet she started it. Trust no one, heard or over. Like out of my coffee cup that doomed afternoon. When I said, when you touch me, and you laughed, oh, and my clarity went. I walk 80 blocks through palsied film sets and smartphone pylons, dead-eyed Google Napsters and felicitous firemen, and some lady who quits giving out to this other guy for five seconds to tell me, look at Foxy. I see a car reared on its hind legs like a horse that died in battle, towing north, the actors stewing within like a tropical disease. I trip on my own toes, nose in a book. I order a pastis, a cloud. I walk and walk, tire of wanting, remember. My brother has no memories of me, says I don't exist anywhere but now. A fallacy so staggering, verily, I stagger. And on I carry, ever so merrily. Sackcloth wrapped in no one's clothing. Remember, I roll with a speedball punches, existing and not like a time sag fluorescent tube, like a neon light that's broke, blinking, was, I wasn't, was. Remember November's stark effigies, failed armistice. My brother thinks we could possibly have a future, and I'm like, who are you? Futureless, I go on eavesdropping every stupid cunt on the sidewalk. I need a support system, woman at 8th Street and 6th. Her gas leaks certainty. I consider offering my services. I lived in a house once, built on nothing. Below that house, the hack-hack swampy spores of its settler disease, like the future of anything without foundation. Rotten air. Oh, my mother watches TV, only I don't watch it. I just put it on for her and watch for two seconds to walk away, says man on a street named Unsweet Jane. I fall asleep and wake again before dawn to the late Rothko skyline. It's inky promise, conifer tips abrading the sky like pointed remarks. Again I wake, and then the lush city morning, petunias, begonias, plummeting humidity, a decaffeinated moan, the octopus traffic reaching, the sad tidings flickering on the screen of this portable device, like the laxative seep of Jay-Z or the eagles from a truck window. Stuttered shades of despair discharging, milking the color from our conversations. How salt water chokes upon a tampered sky, how the bad news drips from the stars, how the wind whips our hair into a mustache or a burqa, how our faces collapse so beautifully in the unsnappable dark, overlaid the distant hints of birds, their degenerative road trip refrain. Will we ever get there? Please, no, please stop the memorial buffet. Let's talk about never. I'll never give up my superlatives, bad attitude, state secrets. You cannot make me, though due to you, I am unmade, 
like a hotel bed or decomposing paramour, left here to my own devices, lying in my constituent parts. The same part of me that begs you never leave, hopes partially that you stay out once you're gone. The failed heart loves inertia, like muck in motion, caked on a boot. Bootless, my heart fails like the light, gathering itself into tomorrow, unrelenting and impermanent deaths, ducks in a row. The light again cracks the sky like a DJ scratch record, tugging the faithful to its capricious jitters. Watch me sway among the fallen. Watch me shimmer. Play me that song, Sunday. I've been asking all night long.